Hi, this is Michael, and this is my review of the Microsoft Surface Laptop. This has an Intel Core i5, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabyte SSD, and it is a beautifully designed laptop. It's not for everybody, however, but uh, for someone who is on the road a lot, uh, who is looking for a very lightweight laptop with great performance, and is already familiar with the Windows operating system, this might be a good choice for you to consider. First, let's talk about the pros. Just a beautiful design. This is an aluminum enclosure. It's very solid. There's just no twisting or bending of this when you flex it. When you look at it carefully, you suddenly realize there are no seams on this. It is just, it looks like it's just carved out of a solid block of aluminum. You have some air vents along the back edge here. Uh, I've had this now for probably a week and a half. I don't hear the fan. I don't even know if this has a fan in it, to be honest with you. It is so quiet, uh, but it is really excellent. And uh, it does get warm. I will say it does get warm on the uh, left-hand rear corner, quite warm when it's charging. But otherwise, I don't really notice heat being an issue with this whatsoever. Uh, again, there's no screws. This case doesn't come apart. That is one of the biggest cons. There's no upgrade path with this. You get what you get, and that is it. And I'm really concerned about the fact that the battery can't be uh, replaced either. At least when iFixit did their teardown of this computer, they literally had to rip this thing apart. There was no easy way to get it assembled. And once they opened it up, they found out that the battery is glued in. Uh, everything is either soldered on the motherboard or there's just no way to replace anything here. So I am very concerned about the long-term implications of having a laptop that is basically going to be a throwaway at the end of its life. Unless Microsoft has some miraculous way to replace batteries with this thing, I don't know. Uh, it doesn't look promising. However, that's about the biggest negative, and that is a big negative for sure, but there's a lot of pros with this. Uh, solid build quality, the screen on this is gorgeous, it is very bright, I love the, the 3 by 2 aspect ratio is really great. Uh, the downside is if you're going to be watching a lot of video on this or movies, you are going to have black bands top and bottom, but for working on documents, the 3 by 2 uh, aspect ratio is really excellent. Uh, I also like the fact that it has the Windows Hello, which is a face recognition for the login. You can see I didn't have to enter in a password or anything. It saw my face uh, using the camera and it uh, immediately logged me in. I find that to be pretty reliable. However, if there is strong backlighting uh, or if you are in very dim situation, it may not recognize you, in which case you do have to put in your uh, password or PIN using the keyboard. Um, I love the fact that this is a touch screen and it's a little uh, little weird for me having a laptop touch screen because it's just not quite the same as a tablet uh, and this screen does not fold back so I mean that's as far back as it goes. So uh, if you're on a plane or something trying to use a tray top table in coach, good luck to you because the amount of space between the seats has been reduced to such an extent now that uh, it really doesn't work. Now, did you just notice the change uh, in color of the screen? I had this set for nighttime viewing and it just took a little few seconds for it to realize that it was daytime now, but uh, it does have a similar feature that uh, Macs have on their iPads and smartphones where at nighttime you can set the time that it'll go into a night mode and uh, you don't get that blue light and uh, so that's what was going on there with the color change. Um, the screen has Gorilla Glass on it so it's supposed to be pretty durable. There is a, a good amount of glare though on the screen. Uh, I was outside with this yesterday and really having a difficult time so uh, because it does not have an anti-glare screen, glare is going to be an issue, so you do have to be careful which way you're pointing if you're uh, working next to a window or outside or whatever. Uh, the keyboard on this, fantastic. It has plastic keys, uh, but they just have, honestly, the best feeling of a, a non-traditional real keyboard that I've got. I love this. I like this keyboard a lot more than on my MacBook Pro. Uh, they just have a really great feel to them, so love the keyboard. 
Um, the trackpad, again, uh, it's, I've had several Windows laptops. This has got the best trackpad that I've ever used. I would say I like it as much as, if not more than, my Mac trackpad, which is also a very good trackpad. Trackpad is great. What are some of the other negatives? Well, first of all, you're not going to get a whole lot of ports here. Uh, you've got a USB port, and then you have a mini DV port, and then you've got a headphone out. Over here is the dock. Um, this is also the charger, where the charger plugs in. Um, so this is a magnetic, and you can also get a dock for this uh, 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 option. Uh, gives you extra USB port and such. But the charger that is included actually does have a, I'm plugging it here, so just bear with me a second. I like the fact that the charger is fairly compact in size. It does have a USB port here, but this is not for data. It is strictly for charging a, a smartphone or something else while your laptop is plugged in. But it has a two-part uh, cord here. The short part is what you plug into the wall, and then the longer cord here is what attaches to the laptop. Uh, this little bar here on each side, that is actually the uh, antenna for Wi-Fi. You do have some nice little pads here on the bottom to give it a little grip when you're on a table. But those pads, there's no screws underneath those pads like what you would think. You would think that you could unscrew the bottom like on a Mac or whatever. But again, this is not something will ever come apart really. So while the 256 gigabyte SSD um, is pretty fast, not necessarily the fastest one out there, but uh, you know, that's going to be a limiting factor for some people. My guess, my biggest disappointment is that there is no SD card slot on this. I really wished they had found a way to get an SD card slot in there. However, with cloud storage being so easy to obtain, uh, that I guess isn't the biggest disadvantage. You can also hook up an external USB hard drive to this if uh, additional storage is absolutely necessary without using the cloud. But, uh, you know, this is going to compare, you're, you may be looking at a Dell XPS 13 or an HP Spectre X360 or even a MacBook Pro. Uh, I'll tell you, I love this. Even though I'm primarily a Mac user, I do like to use a PC. And when I do, this thing has been a joy to use. I just love how light and uh, easy it is to carry around. The display is 2256 by 1504. Again, uh, it is a touch screen, and yes, you can use a stylus with this. Um, it's great, it's very bright. I have it reduced in brightness quite a bit here, but uh, it's got a good range of brightness. So, uh, uh, surprisingly, the speakers in this laptop are phenomenal. They're actually underneath the keyboard. Uh, I cannot believe how good the speakers sound. And I don't know what is going on with this, whether they've got some sort of a surround sound thing going on, but when I listen to music on this, it sounds like the sound has really got a wide uh, stage. Um, it sounds like the speakers are outside of the <laughs> laptop somewhere. Very surprising. I would say these are the best sounding speakers that I've heard. Uh, in a laptop, and they're certainly far better than what I've got in my MacBook Pro, that's for sure. And also, because the sound is basically coming out through the keyboard, uh, you sort of get a, a bouncing off effect off the screen, so it really directs the sound right to you, which I really like a lot. I don't know, there's not too much negative I have to say about this laptop. For a portable, a lightweight solution that is great for travel, uh, it's just awesome. I've had no complaints with this whatsoever. Uh, it works great for me. Really, uh, I think it's a, a really a great laptop. It's not going to be for everybody. Certainly, if you're into gaming or you're, you need the ultimate and high performance, uh, you're going to want to look elsewhere. But uh, if you have any questions, leave me a comment. I'll be happy to answer them if I can. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Have a great day.